in 2 Chronicles 32, we find a beautiful story, story of trust in God. Hezekiah was following the Lord according to his whole heart. He, he was investing his whole heart in following the Lord, in, in following his commandments, in studying the, God's word, in, and following his principles, reestablishing the service in the temple. And now he's challenged by a huge army of the Assyrians. And Sennacherib was uh, heeding this uh, army and, and willing to, uh, to uh, fight against Jerusalem and control Jerusalem and conquer Jerusalem. And then Hezekiah says to the people, it's beautiful what he says, be strong and courageous, do not be afraid nor dismayed. There are more with us than with him. With him is an arm of flesh, but with us is the Lord our God to help us and to fight our battles. Today you will fight some battles, I will fight some battles. Let us give to the Lord our battles. Let us allow him to fight our battles. Let us allow him to take control of our life, our whole life, all aspects of our life and fight our battles. And another interesting point here in this chapter is about the storehouse principle, because the storehouse principle says that all tithes and all offerings should be brought to a common place. And from there, there must be a system of distribution as it is in the Adventist church. It's the reality in the Adventist church. All tithes and offerings come to a common place. And then from there, they are distributed. There is a system of distribution. They, they don't stay on that place to enrich an, an institution. The Adventist church in Australia is, is not trying to enrich institutions, but to invest in the mission, in, in those who are working in the mission and in the mission itself, and in a very equitative way, which means no one will become rich, no one will enrich himself or herself, because all will receive in an equalitative way, which means uh, uh, the, the, the one working in a very remote place, as I worked and I, and I told you yesterday, and the other one working in a very rich and sophisticated place will receive the same, under the same base scale of salary in the Adventist church as it was here in this time. But in order to have that system in function working, we must adopt the storehouse principle, which says, all tithes and offerings should be broke, and this principle we find in the Bible, and one of the chapters that in, in which we can see very clear, in a very clear way, that principle is chapter 31. Uh, the principle says we must bring all tithes and offerings to the common place, and then from there distribute them. And now here on verse 12, uh, even, even the uh, um, Assyrian envoy recognized that principle because he says, has not the same Hezekiah taken away his high places and his altars and commanded Judah and Jerusalem, saying, You shall worship before one altar and burn incense on it. So he recognized that Hezekiah have established some reforms and, and has broke back that storehouse principle. Let us give our support to that principle, that biblical principle that has been adopted also by the Seventh-day Adventist Church. And that's the, we believe that that is the reason why the Seventh-day Adventist Church is present now in almost all of the United Nations recognized countries in the world, because that system allows us to cover all necessities in a very, very equitative way. God bless you and make you a blessing today.